Today we're going to show you the basics of how to measure a vehicle for a set of custom built wheels. Before you begin, there are a few items that you will need. A straight edge ruler, a tape measure, a caliper, and finally, the wheel measuring guide worksheet that you can download from our website. To begin, raise the vehicle and securely place it on jack stands. Then you can remove the wheel. We'll start by measuring the distance from the wheel mounting surface in to the first obstruction frame side. This is measurement A on the worksheet. This obstruction could be the inner fender, the frame rail, a suspension component, etc. Place the straight edge flat against the wheel mounting surface. A little trick that will make this process easier is to bolt the straight edge to the brake with a couple large washers and lug nuts. Then measure from the straight edge in to that first contact point for the tire. In this case, it's the inner fender. Write down that distance for section A. Now you will need to measure the distance from the wheel mounting surface out to the first obstruction. This will be B on the worksheet. This obstruction could be the wheel well opening, the fender lip, an inner fender bolt, etc. In this case, the inner fender bolt would be the first contact point for the tire. Write down that distance for section B. Next, you will need to measure the hub diameter. This is going to be C on the worksheet. This is done by using a caliper to accurately measure for the hub. Write down this measurement in section C. Now, you will need to measure the brake diameter. This is especially important when using aftermarket brakes. The overall brake diameter can be a deciding factor in the wheel diameter you want to use. To measure the brake diameter, you will need to measure the distance from the center of the hub to the very top of the brake caliper. Multiply this measurement by 2 to determine the overall brake diameter. Write down this measurement for section D. Another crucial brake measurement that can affect wheel fitment is the amount the caliper protrudes past the wheel mounting surface. This is particularly important with aftermarket brakes with large multi-piston calipers. For this measurement, you will need to measure from the wheel mounting surface out to the face of the caliper. Write down this measurement for section E. The last measurement needed will be the hub length. This is measurement F on the worksheet. Measure from the wheel mounting surface to the end of the hub. This distance is very important for center cap clearance. Write down this measurement for section F. If using aftermarket brakes, you can consult with the brake manufacturer's website for all the crucial brake dimensions we just discussed. This includes the overall brake diameter, the hub diameter, the caliper protrusion, and the hub length. Repeat this process for the front and the rear of the vehicle as well as the driver and passenger sides of the vehicle. It is very important to measure both sides of the vehicle as production tolerances and 50 plus years of wear and tear can create differences from one side to the next.